Hi everybody, Martin here, hope you're doing great. Talking to people might be scary, talking to strangers might be even scarier. But in this video I will tell you how to smoothly start a conversation with anybody. I know how scary this might be because I've been there. I totally understand your feelings talking to stranger, coming up to stranger and start talking to them, start a conversation, what to talk about, what to do with hands. Well, I'm not going to talk about it at this video, but I will tell you how to start a conversation with just anybody. But before I start, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, like the video and do whatever you feel like doing by the end of the video. But subscribe to the channel now because every Wednesday and, and every other Sunday there is a new video coming out on this channel. We are talking about body language analysis, body language, communication tips, how to improve your communication, your influence and how to strengthen your relationships by using tips from a body language, from practical psychology and day-to-day -day observation. So I hope you will consider subscribing and meeting me here every week. So there is time to get to the first point, which is a mindset. Mindset is a golden key to having a confident communication. Of course, there are numbers of techniques, but without having the right mindset, there is no chance for you to be good at it. So the first mindset tip is that I don't believe in uh, some sort of manipulation techniques and some black dark tactics of how getting hearts of people. I believe in a genuine authentic communication conversation and like coming up to the person and starting a conversation. I strongly believe in that and I believe that in the most cases it will be the best tactic you can use. Of course there are some advanced tactics how to start and gain trust quickly by people but it doesn't work all the time it's a difficult to learn and i myself don't consider that as an honest way how to how to talk to people how to be in a conversation how to be in that relationship one to one so the more you do it the better you get at it and the better it works so it means that you really have to go out and talk to people and just your style and listen to people and be genuinely interested in them. But don't worry, I'll be getting you more steps. And if you are considering digging deeper in this thing, how to talk to people, how to be more confident in a communication with anybody, I'm preparing a 30 day challenge, which will be launched in the summer and that is exactly about that. It will be 30 days where I will be guiding you towards having a stronger communication, stronger communication skill. And I'll be getting from zero to hero. I'll be, and by the end of that course, you'll be ready to go out, to talk to anybody. You'll be ready to pick up a phone and talk to anybody. So if you are interested in something like that, I'll be, there is a link down below that will get you to, to the pre-registration landing page and just sign up the email and the name. When it's relevant, I will send you an email and you can hop in. So the second point is uh, open with a basic question, with a very basic question. And I'm talking about question like, how are you today? How are you doing? And to actually listen to what the person is saying. As we said in the first time, there's a game of mindset. So you will ask 10 people and five people will tell you to f off. I'm sorry for the swearing. Three people won't want to talk to you, but two people will be happy that you ask them and they will tell you something and you will have a new friend. You'll be very good. You will have a good talk with just that simple question. That simple question is asked so you find out what is deeper, what is beneath the surface because you don't want to be on that small talk area for a long time. So you don't want to be talking for a long time about the general stuff that nobody is emotionally interested in. So by that basic question, by that how are you or something you can come up along, you are trying to find out what is important, what is valuable for that very person and then you will start asking questions about that. So that's it. So you have asked, you have a basic question and you are digging deeper so you can start talking about something that the person is emotionally interested in. But how, what, what other questions can you use instead of how are you? So you find some distinctive character of that person, something that you can ask about and you ask about it. You maybe will go to the 
coffee shop there is a new over there in the town and order a coffee naturally and ask them well what's the competition like did they accept you well something like that it's something that is close to that person and something that the person cares about most likely because they opened that coffee shop over there so you start conversation like that every every single person likes to talk about themselves so you open like this or you see a person in the underground and they are having a cool bag so you come up to them and they hey where did you get that bag i've been trying to get that bag up but i couldn't find it anywhere and you are starting a conversation and when you are lucky at that very moment you might end up talking to that person for quite a long time and you might even find a new life partner, new friend, new, I don't know, business partner. An important point over here is as well that you don't want to open conversation with a personal quest. So you don't want to go very deep under the surface in the opening. You want to go deeper under the surface just after you open. After you get that very initial rapport with that person, you will go deeper. People don't want to go deeper like on the first shot, but afterwards they are willing to go very deep. And if you are not afraid and you, you are asking good questions that are close to that person, you might get a lot of information out of that person and you might get a lot of trust and I don't know, I want to say compliance with that person. So don't open with the personal questions, but once you open and you're talking for like two minutes, you are allowed to go deeper and more personal and it will only be good for you for that conversation. Point number three transition to the emotional interested topic as soon as possible. So once you are over the part where you are asking how are how, how is the person at that very moment or about the competition in the coffee houses or where, where the person got the, get, got the bag, you are now allowed to go deeper. You want to start talking about something that the other person is really interested in, emotionally interested in. But how do you find out what the person is emotionally interested in? Well, that's a good question. There is a video about active listening somewhere around, some over here, over here. So you want to really be paying attention to what the person is talking about. You will ask them, how are you? And they will start talking about something. So what they are talking about, what does it say about them? What they are experiencing at that very moment? Maybe they have a hard day at work, so you, you can go deeper and talk about the work maybe they had a rough training session so ask them about what sport they are training and you are getting deeper 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 and you want to get deeper you don't want to remain on the surface level because when you are on that surface level it's not interesting so you, people will escape they don't want to talk to you when it's not deep when they don't know when they don't know you so you want to emotionally interest them and then you will get that trust and that good small talk. And in this, like getting to the something more that more emotionally interested for that person, more em em emotionally interesting for that person, you don't want to go, what are you emotionally interested in? You want to lead where the questions that you are asking that person, where the answers are leading. So you want to go dig deeper to what is interesting for that person in front of you, not you. Important to think about that. I've, I've been mentioning that in the communication mistakes video, so if you want to check that out as well. I've been talking that you don't want to talk about yourself. When you are talking to someone new, you definitely don't want to talk about yourself in the first place. You want to make the other person appreciate it, you want to make that other person hurt. You want to make them feel hurt, like you are actually listening to them. You are giving them your attention, which is the best I, best gift you can ever give. And another point, like a lot of from my theories are that you have to ask a lot of questions and you need to make the other person feel appreciated and that you pay attention to them. But there are moments that it might get it might get too much, like they are only talking about themselves and you don't want that as well. So when there is a good moment for it, you want to interrupt that person in a good way, of course. Don't want to interrupt them in the middle of sentence. But when, when the person finishes some topic, some talking about something, some story, you don't, want to wait, you don't want to wait until they ask you, but you just start talking about the similar experience you, may, you might have. So you want to proactively 
interact with that person so you ask them about what was the training and they will start telling you about their swimming class and they are taking and once they finish the point they wanted to make you start talking about you maybe watch the swimming competition at, at, at a TV or you maybe swam when you were at school so you want to share something from your life this will remind them that that you are also in that communication and they will start asking questions and it, it will sort of equal the powers in that communication because when you are asking you are raising the power of that person but when you are sharing yourself you are equaling that level of a power so that's it for now if you want to get better at communication check the video that i've mentioned over there and generally on this channel there's a lot of videos and if you want to really go deep really go deep on uh, how to be confident in communication and how to talk to anybody walk outside oh, i like that person i want to talk to him i will go there and talk to him definitely consider subscribing to that 30 day challenge that i'm preparing right now because it will be something i'm really putting my best into that course so i hope you will like it so sign up your interest in that form that in the link in the description and that's it for now guys i've been very happy talking about that seeing you in the video and see you next time guys bye